Okay, I took a look at this, and uh, you know, I I was pretty sure I was right. I just didn't have a good explanation, and now um, I I feel like I can explain it better to you. Um, so the question was, why did he go like this and take 2.5 minus y dx? And we have to do is go back to uh, our invention of finding the area under the curve using rectangles, right? Uh, remember that this right here is the height of each rectangle, and this right here is the width. Okay, so that's the that's the height, which I, I think uh, from when we talked, it seemed like that made sense. Uh, from if we take this height and we subtract this height, right? Take this total height here and subtract this height, we get the height of any given little rectangle there. And the height is always that tiny, tiny change in x that we call dx. Um, and what you got to think about is you've taken this parametric curve, um, or this, this parametric function, and you have turned it into a plane graph and on the xy plane, right? And it's on the xy plane that we want to find the area, right? This is exactly what we want to find the area of. So if I want to set up an integral, it's going to be something that finds the height and width of every single little rectangle and then the integral is by definition the uh, cumulative sum of all of that stuff right so um, that's why he, he set that up uh, kind of ignoring that it was parametric at first and then replacing it with uh, the, the parametric bits okay so if you were to set up just a normal plane graph uh, uh, integral to find the area that is, uh, you know, y is a function of x, this is how you would do it. Pretty straightforward, right? So what he does then is to say, well, it's, it's not quite a plane graph. The, the, the y value here is given by 2.5. That's always going to be the same. So that part is the same. The way we find this height right here, right? right there at any given t is with this function right here right so to find that y value um, we need to use this function here so that's going to give us this part that we would subtract away from 2.5 to get the height of each rectangle so that's where we put t plus and he put t to the negative one which is smart okay and then we got this dx the, the width, the uh, very, very small change in x. How do we figure out how big that change is? How do we calculate that? We take the derivative of the x function, as x as a function of t, right? And then if we know something about t or the change in t, then we can figure out uh, x or the change in x. So then we multiply that by, and he does this as t minus t to the negative one. Uh, so we've got 1 plus uh, t to the negative 2 dt. And so now, notice we've got the dt here. So that's kind of saying this is a function of t, which it is because all you see is t's here. Okay. So we can integrate this with respect to t. Uh, so the limits need to be uh, in terms of t. And you kind of already established earlier that uh, this indeed... Um, is the smaller limit, right? If we look on the xy plane, it looks like we would go from here to there, right? But this is a function of t, so we just got to make sure that we uh, start at the smaller um, value of t and go to the larger value of t. Uh, and this does go from left to right, so we can kind of follow that. So one half to three halves. And I, that was your question. I, I think uh, I think that does uh, uh, it justice. It answers it. And then uh, to integrate it, you know, you kind of follow what he did. You distribute this negative here, uh, and then multiply both of these things together, and then integrate. Um, it'll be a simple kind of not really a polynomial because you have negative exponents, but you know, it'll just have. Uh, we'll use a simple power rule is what I'm getting to. 
Um, and maybe the log rule. Um, not sure. But I think you would be able to integrate that without very much difficulty. And remember, you're just integrating it with respect to t. So what comes out is a function of t. And then you'll have it. And you can use that to answer any other questions. All right, so uh, let me know, uh, email me or something if you have any questions, but uh, that ought to do it. Thanks for watching.